Hey guys, Level Cap here. Today is Monday, which means it's time for an episode of Loadout, the series where you guys, the viewers, get to pick a gun and customization for me to use in Battlefield 5. The way you do this is you leave a comment down below letting me know what kind of weapon and specializations you'd like me to run with. And before we get into today's top comment, there's been a lot of really good comments lately. Some of them have been for weapons that I just haven't unlocked yet because it requires getting Medic and Recon to rank 20. Currently I have Assault and Support at rank 20 and I just need to max out Medic and Recon and then probably get a bunch more Company Coin which won't be available until potentially the December 4th patch. We'll have to see what they do with Company Coin. but. Uh, there are some things that have been slowing down this series a little bit. So I've only been able to pick top comments for the weapons that I have. But hopefully I'll be able to get Recon or Medic to rank 20 for next week's episode. We'll see. The company coin's coming in at a slow 300 per day provided that I complete the assignments there. So that has definitely slowed down the weapon rank up process as well. Now, with that being said, today's top comment comes from Hansel, who says, The Real Man Loadout. Class Support. Primary is the M30 Drilling. Secondary is the Mark VI Revolver slash Liberator. For melee, we'll be using the Hatchet, Grenade, Incendiary. Gadget 1 is an Ammo Crate. Gadget 2 is the AT Grenade Pistol. You are a real man, a man's man. You don't need a fancy automatic weapon. All you need is buckshot, fire, and explosions. Hunt down the blasted hun with your drilling and slugs at a distance and be sure to pepper your foes with fire and AT grenade pistol. Happy hunting level cap. Now, as expected, the M30 drilling is quickly becoming a fan favorite just because it's got those style points. I mean, not only is a double barrel shotgun extremely cool, and it was in Battlefield 1 as well, but this one's got that added secret barrel underneath, the rifle round barrel for those one-shot headshots at a distance, and I definitely got a bunch of those. The M30 drilling is darn cool, but is it that effective of a weapon? Well, it's definitely not my first choice of a gun when it comes to actually getting some real work done, getting the job done. It can be fun, definitely a TDM weapon that uh, is very effective, but when it comes to charging lines or pushing flanks and stuff, you're really very limited with your engagement distance. Obviously, you do have that rifle round, which can get you a one-shot headshot at range, but if you don't hit the headshot and you hit the body, you're gonna do about 60 damage, and then you've got a very lengthy reload before you can get the next shot out. So you're kind of just alerting your enemy to your whereabouts if you don't hit that headshot. So it's a difficult weapon to use. It does have some versatility, but uh, it really its forte is close quarters, and even then you're going to be limited to about two shots, and then you got to switch to your sidearm. I had many situations in close quarters where I could have taken out three or four enemy, but I took out two, had to reload, and the reload time was just long enough that the other guys were able to come around and push my flank before I could get more shots ready. Now the rifle round is most effective when you're shooting at a stationary target. It's pretty darn hard to hit a moving target at range. The travel speed is difficult to judge and you don't really get a quick follow-up shot option. So a bipod machine gunner can be a very easy target. A sniper who's prone or just not moving, again, can be an easy target, but you got somebody side strafing and that rifle round becomes very inconsistent Consistent, not something that you can expect to take down an enemy, even if they are lesser skilled than you. So really, it's all about closing the distance, the art form of trying to get close to your enemy without alerting them, or maybe alerting them, but finding a way to still close the distance using cover and whatnot. Part of what I think would make this kit a little bit more effective is using some sort of smoke device. So I, I think the support does get a smoke grenade and you could put that down to try and close your distance a bit more effectively. Some maps just don't give you that option. They don't give you a way to get closer to your enemy unless you use something like a smoke grenade. So that would probably make it a bit more effective. The incendiary is an interesting grenade. The best part of it is that it detonates Im immediately and you can block off areas for enemies charging you, but I think either the impact or smoke grenade would complement this kit a bit better. Now the Mark VI revolver is a cool looking revolver, but the damage potential isn't great. In fact, that kind of goes for all sidearms in Battlefield 5. They got a nerf. Battlefield 1 sidearms were pretty decent, but pretty much every sidearm in Battlefield 5 feels like it's about one more shot to kill. And that sucks, especially considering that every other gun in the game 
kind of got a universal buff. Aside for the recons with their bolt action rifles, assault rifles, SMGs, all that stuff, they're going to be doing a lot of damage and they're going to be doing it quickly. So having even weaker sidearms does get tricky. So the Mark VI revolver is there. It's useful, but it's not something that you're going to want to use. And I only used it when I absolutely had to. Sometimes it was much more worthwhile risking the lengthier reload of the M30 to get those buckshot back in there rather than switching to the sidearm and giving me a very uh, inconsistent or low chance of winning the next firefight. So uh, you'll see me get a few kills throughout this montage here, but uh, for the most part, I'm not a huge fan of the Mark VI revolver. I like the 1911 a little bit better, but uh, both guns, in my opinion, are quite difficult to use, at least if you're used to pistol mechanics from Battlefield 1. I kind of miss my Battlefield 1 pistol mechanics. Not sure why DICE decided to nerf them so significantly. Now, occasionally you'll see me switch to the AT grenade pistol. I'm not a huge fan of this gadget overall. It does a little bit of damage to vehicles, but honestly, if you want to sneak up on a tank and take them out, the AT mine is going to be far more effective on that. The AT grenade pistol is good for quickly clearing um, fortifications if you need to open up a new path for yourself. And it can one shot infantry kill if you hit them directly. So it can be a little bit fun for that. But the weapon switch time on it is incredibly long. You pull out the AT grenade pistol and then you have this lengthy stock fold out animation. And that timing there is just too long to make it really effective as a quick swap weapon in close quarter combat. You shoot off both your shotgun rounds and then maybe your pistol rounds and you quickly want to switch to that. It's going to take a while to get that out and ready to fight. So it's really much more of a preemptive weapon. You have to be like, okay, there's three guys around that corner. I'm going to try the AT grenade pistol. And frankly, it's not always going to work out. If you don't get that direct shot, you're going to do about 50 damage worth of splash and then they're going to turn at you and be like, hey, Who's that idiot over there standing there? Let's kill him. So you might just be better off leading with the M30 drilling for most combat scenarios. And I ended up using the AT grenade pistol much more frequently just for clearing fortifications and allowing me to flank. And to be fair, there's actually quite a lot of opportunities for that in Battlefield 5. Many destructible buildings and stuff that you can blow up in a wall in and jump through or fortified windows or sandbags, barriers, all that kind of stuff. So it's not to say that it's a completely useless gadget. I just generally speaking, especially on uh, vehicle heavy maps, find the AT mines a bit more effective. Obviously, if you're playing infantry only, then the AT grenade pistol is the way to go. You might also notice that I've... Uh, you might also notice that I've changed my iron sights to something that's got a little crosshair on there, which does make it a little bit more viable with the rifle rounds, although there's so much scope sway when you bring this weapon up to bear when you ADS with it that uh, it, it makes the timing of it a bit slow. So I do prefer this optic for the rifle rounds, uh, even though it does make the shotgun look a little bit dorky in my opinion. Uh, overall, this kit is fun. It's not super effective. I mean, you're going to be better off with many of the other machine gun options for the support class. Uh, I wonder if it'll be more effective after the next major TTK rebalance. If DICE actually does increase the TTK on many of the weapons, shotguns could become far more viable. I feel like there are certain weapon classes that just aren't very viable right now because some of the other guns are so universally effective that it makes them very hard to use. Shotgun would certainly be one of them. So if they do increase the TTK on other weapons, then we could see weapons like the M30 drilling and the 12 gauge automatic becoming more popular or more viable in more situations. So we'll just have to wait and see what DICE does. That December 4th patch is incredibly important for this game. Uh, if you don't have the M30 drilling, try it out. It's a fun gun to use. Probably the best shotgun in the game at the moment, uh, considering that there's only two shotguns, but it's definitely more of a stylistic weapon than a I'm going to dominate this game weapons. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's episode of Loadout. Don't forget to leave your comments down below for next week's episode, letting me know what kind of gun and customization you'd like me to run with. Hopefully we'll have those other classes fully ranked up and we can try every gun that is available. See you guys next time. This is Level Cap signing off. Thank you.